Hey guys, this is Game Demo reporting for duty. Today we're going to be looking at Larry. And this is going to be uh, Larry, the first Larry, with some uh, rework. So it's been reworked actually twice. Uh, I played the VGA version ages ago and I haven't tried this one, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing like everything else from Sierra. So let's get started. I'm just gonna woo. Did you see it was like Larry's hat, like whoosh, swinging in and swooshing in and out again? Can you summon el elements or plots which may not be considered appropriate for some children? Okay, so all children, please turn off your YouTube channel now or switch to like Bambi or something because this is gonna be a little bit naughty. Box of cigarettes, and yeah, we're gonna be looking at some boobs. Yep, yep, this is happening. Oh, how old am I? Should I tell you? Are you guys supposed to know this? Okay, I I'm, I'm in this box. Does that help you? Yeah, sure you are. I really am, actually. But okay then. To whatever age, please answer these five simple questions. Which is games came first? God. Pac-Man. Pong. Pong is the first one. Uh, your permit record is given to potential employers, never accessible to you. Copy to a server in Washington DC of fairytale men to find children. Uh I'm not sure. This is a US question and I'm not from the States. Uh, I'm... I have no idea. Um, I guess my permanent records should be accessible to me. Uh, it might be copied to a server in Washington DC. Possibly, it might be kept there, but it's probably given to potential employees. Are we gonna go with that one? <laughs> No, you blew it. Oops. Another you can't possibly blow. <laughs> Which dessert is also the name of a past or present Las Vegas container? Really, I have to have been gone. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do these questions and get back to you guys. Okay, because I need to do some googling. So I'm gonna get through these and then I'm gonna get back to the game. Hi guys, I'm back. So I actually had to Google these just to get them right, and I got a question about uh, what was Bruce Willis's profession before he became an actor, and he was actually a bartender. And then there was a question about uh, I'm gonna eat or liver with uh, a nice bottle of Chianti, and that's from Hannibal Lecter, and something like that. But if you have this trouble, just go to the to Google and uh, Google one of the questions, and you will be guided through the answers if you don't know them. Uh, but only do this if you're 18, <laughs> or mommy will be angry. Okay, but we're gonna get started. Your name is Larry. Ooh, Larry, Larry Laffer. Larry Laffer. You've arrived in beautiful Lost Wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without Damn a them. hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without a clue, you've never had one. <laughs> you exit the cab. The hot, dry air of Lost Wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a bird... Still untouched by human hands. Look out, ladies. I'm finding love tonight. Aw, poor Larry. He's a 40-year-old virgin. Nobody has dropped any change on the sidewalk. So? Let's get gambling. Okay, I'm just checking out the if there's something. The street continues something. on in both directions, but you don't see any amusing destinations within walking distance. I guess I'm just gonna yeah, I can click this guy to change something. Can I walk behind the the thingy? Oh, what happens now? Dumpster diving. Let's go dumpster you diving. You around in the dumpster, but you don't see anything valuable aside from some cocktail shrimp that might Ooh. still be edible. Yeah. Hmm. That's good shrimp. Well, at least he's not hungry now. Can we open this? You poke through the garbage cans looking for anything that could help you get the girls. Look! It's a can of the same breath spray I use. And it's full! Why would anyone throw out a full container of breath spray? Doesn't make sense. You throw out your existing half-empty can and replace it with the full one from the garbage. Cause hey, free breath spray. I love this voice, it's fucking like amazing. Hey, free breath spray. <laughs> it's 
So I played this game like 10 years ago, uh, but uh, so I don't remember the storyline anymore, but I guess we will be able to get through it anyways. Allowing you to use the darts would pose an unacceptable risk to the computer controlled characters. <laughs> So we could destroy these people if we would actually use them. You properly. pick up lefties, but realizing that you have no place to put it, you gently set it back right where you got it. Oh, well, that sounds reasonable. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look at something. Remember that time you were playing darts with your friend Stephen Broider? No, I don't remember. You were taking turns and you were pulling your darts out of the dartboard while Stephen got ready. Suddenly, everything went black. And when you woke up, your head was bandaged. You didn't recognize anyone and you were speaking in Urdu. Urdu? Like Pakistan? Okay. Did he just like put his hand in his pants and smell his fingers? Did that just happen while the text was like flowing around? These video slot machines make it Ugh. all too easy. At least when you had to pull a big handle, you got to work for your losses. Gee, Dad, it's a Wurlitzer. Okay, let's talk to somebody. Mm, this girl. First rule of socializing, Larry. Look at the person you're trying to engage with, particularly when they helped pay for you to be here. <laughs> so looky look. What's a hot babe like that doing in a miserable, smelly, <laughs> broken down <laughs> joint like this? Hey, I wonder. Bob, just keep that kind of narration to yourself. <laughs> he looks like someone from your distant past, but you just can't put your finger on him. Good thing, too. <laughs> This sleazy bar gives you the creeps. Fortunately, the creeps are all ignoring you. Damn them creeps. The gentleman filling his face is Tom King, a regular at lefties and the kind of guy you love to have with you at the movies, so you don't have to talk to him for two hours. Looking at me? Can't blame you, actually. I got that handsome roguish look. It's a curse. But hey, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> of course I do. Yeah. I'm sure you know lots of handsome guys in my situation. There's so much like uh, voices and narration. I don't want to be talking over them, so I'm just letting you listen. Why is he always smelling his fingers? Like yuck! Okay, let's go this to the last one. Le international bon vivant, bon Francois de Keat, is one of Lefty's big investors, and being from Europe, he's extremely cool. Wow, you're cool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It's almost too cool how cool I am, n'est-ce pas? N'est-ce pas? Oh. Oui. And you speak Klingon Klingon! Too. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <sighs> no, I feel fast. I resent your chiseled features, your height, and your easy-going, laid-back demeanor. Can I have your life? No, I have too much cool to fit into <laughs> that little body. <laughs> this game is like the best. I was Something like... must be behind that door. I was trying to look Nothing at the fellow. Nothing escapes your keen powers of deduction. He appears to be perverted, twisted, and sick. Really? You instantly take a liking to him. Let's talk to him. Have a seat at the bar first. What do you think this is? Some dive even cruddier than this? Okay, well, we're gonna sit at the bar. <laughs> I'm actually from Europe, so I must be cool. You take Yay. a seat on an available bar stool. Now I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hello! What'll it be? Ooh. Do I have money? I probably don't have money. Let's just give it a go, though. I'm doing vodka. I want to do some serious damage. Give me a vodka. It's the speedy consoles bartender. Yes, I give you the most wonderful vodka. Bottle. Well, Whoa, dude. You flip five bucks onto the counter. I have a box? You don't drink the vodka. Instead, you carry it around <laughs> in the shot glass because you simply never know when you'll need a shot of vodka. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we use it for somebody later. Let's see if we can go to the store. That's the store. problem, then. You're letting in too much light. <laughs> har, so, har, har. the setup to that punchline? I don't want to know. Let's go there. Let's open the door. The door. You oh. are in a dimly lit hallway. The peeling wallpaper gives the roaches something to watch. Clutter fills the room, and a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor. Leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. That's nice, Bobby. You try to pull up the rug. Not only doesn't it move, it's incredibly <laughs> sticky as well. You shudder to think what's glued it to the floor. Maybe glue? Even empty, these are too heavy for you to move. I was actually trying to pick up the like lady here with the butt out. I, I was I thought he would be like happy about it. 
Så tror du sagt det skal. Needing to be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, Billy. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> Should I give him my vodka? No, I'm gonna go to the John. Where's my hand? Here's my hand. Ooh, hello. Buried under the usual skin mags are some real collector's items. One of them is juicy Japanese and Jewish. And this, folks, is what you children weren't supposed to see, I think. But this is a diamond Score. ring, isn't it? Score! You're already well wiped. I am. Thank God. I think I was just, like, smelling my fingers. Maybe I can wash my hands. You start to wash your hands in the Good. cold water. Then you realize that there's no soap. Ugh. Then you realize that there are no paper towels. Just use the fucking paper. So you wash your hands as well as you can and wipe them on the back of your shirt. Ugh. Under your jacket where the wet spots won't show. Can you use the toilet? Let's use the toilet. You grab an ancient like an copy wash, of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? I wonder... Ugh. So he's gonna do that until I stop him, or...? People should stay as far away from these boxes as possible. Which is a shame, <laughs> because it's a tiny room and people have to use it all the time. Uh. Okay, just, you know, leave that. Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Okay, I'm just gonna be polite and actually try to wash my hands. You've got two choices, hot water or <laughs> cold water. Oh, I hate making decisions. It's so hard. Uh, we're gonna do hot water. You turn on the hot tap. You can get burned, aren't you? Burned, baby, porn. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words Ken sent me in blood on the paper. You turn off the hot tap Ew. and the mist slowly clears. I'm kind of weird. I, me, being Larry. Can I go to... What this were you going to say? This door is permanently nailed shut. You'll just have to wait for a sequel to find out what's behind it. <gasps> Ooh, I like sequels. I want the rose. Can I get the rose? Give me the rose. You deftly pluck the rose from the vase Ooh. and carry it with you. Okay, okay, we're doing some progress. Ooh, I'm trying to walk. Here we go. I want to give some vodka to the drunk guy, but I'll just... Hey, know. dork. You got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Ha, ha, ha. I like it. I like having toilet paper stuck to my shoe, so bugger off. You give yourself a quick pat down. Got my wallet, got my breath spray, yeah. and I'm filled with vitamin Larry. Ew. Come and get me. <laughs> That's so nasty. Oh, I understand why this guy's a virgin. Loudly on the Naga Hide door. The Naga Hide. Yeah. What's the password? Larry sent me, maybe? Where's my inventory? Is this inventory? No. Oops. You quickly check your fly by zipping it up and down a few times. That's the fly button. Zips up, zips down <laughs> in an instant for easy Ew. access. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my god, this game, this game is so amazing. I, I want to say Larry sent me, but uh, I wonder where my inventory is. Let me press I. Oh, here we go. This is my inventory. Okay, let's go this back to it. This decor has no oh, taste. Oh no, it was the wrong button. I was just gonna walk over here, and then I was trying to use the hand you on this. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah. What's the password? Mm, what's the password? Where do they get these guys with those like perfect voices? Okay. Oh, right then. You read off the strange password you discovered in the, the John. John. Uh, Ken sent me. Come on in. Come on in. I have the most deepest wood, ah, black voice. You recognize this setup this from a number of art films. Is this poo? You've like viewed. really? The what I'm pointing at. you is basically Sorry. working the front desk. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick expert services to a discriminating clientele. Uh, uh, is this poo? I'm you gingerly poke around in the pile, no. looking for something useful. To your great relief, you find nothing. I'm gonna take the remote. Uh, in these games, you can always see like what stands out, and the remote stands out. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. 
I'm thinking about actually turning on the TV. The remote, and the remote is out of juice. It's oh. not currently working with the TV. We need batteries. Maybe let's take the calendar. Take the calendar? These days, carrying around one of these calendars will immediately peg you as a troglodyte. But you You're trying it. to keep that a secret. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's happening, man? Just hanging out. What's like upstairs? Nothing you'll ever get to see. Why? What is it? It's a woman, little man. <laughs> and she's too much for you. You're not getting by me. Just put it out of your head. Well, that just makes me want to go up there even more, right? Makes me want to figure out a way to get past you. You're new at this, aren't you? So what we need is batteries. That's what we need. Uh, let's try to it's take more stuff. It's just a junky old poster. Let it molder in peace. Let's, to pick, let's try to pick more stuff up. He's gonna get the mad. The cabinet is locked. Let's pop, let's Book like bottles are highly ass. collectible and very valuable. But since you don't know that, it's useless to you. Forget about it. Okay, so let's just try to walk upstairs and have him mess with us because it's fun. Step away, little man. Step away, little You're man. You're not my girl's type. Ooh. What'd you let me in the room for, then? I surround myself with socially inept people. <laughs> it stems from a need to overcompensate for my deep-seated low self-esteem. I'll see these, like, there's you open up and examine the contents of the carton. They're all ass. full of tax code manuals related to the running of a legal brothel. I'm gonna press this, uh, this chicken guy here. You're straight, Larry. You don't enjoy touching someone else's <laughs> rooster. Oh, let's touch the, the, the pussy. Let's touch the pussy. Don't touch it. You don't know what it's been. <laughs> what it's been? Okay. So we need batteries, that's for sure for the remote to get rid of this guy. You pick up lefties, but realizing yeah. that you have no place to put it, you gently set it back right where you got it. I'm thinking about going like to the drunk guy and giving him the alcohol. Let's see what happens then. <laughs> Maybe again. Can this I... fan is old, broken, and pathetic. Just this game has a lot of fans like that. <laughs> I would be one of them. Uh, yeah, what I was thinking was uh, to... Uh, <laughs> sorry. I think this is so funny. Uh, try to get the, uh, the battery from the fan, but that's what probably not going to work. are you? Some kind of white Russian? I don't drink that swell. That beautiful swell. Hmm. Okay. He doesn't drink vodka, so uh, he has red wine over here, and he has beer or something, so let's go back and get him some beer. Let's try that, or like red wine. I need to go back, sit on the chair, le chair. You by the very nice European man, way. Hello. Hello. The bee. Wussy, that's champagne. Should I press the wussy guy? Mike was here again. Uh, sure, a wine. May I, I please have a glass of your delicate white Zinfandel, sir? Hey, was that your voice? Is that my voice? Sure. Does he have like endless money? Probably. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You delicately sip the wine until it's all gone. I find this impudent and sassy with the slightest hint of impertinence. Suddenly, you feel a little woozy. Okay, so I can't take the wine Hello? because... Hello! it be? Okay, let's take the woozy stuff. I ain't selling no sissy drinks here. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> this is so magical. Hello! Hello! Uh, beer. Let's try, try beer. Give me a mug of beer! Did I actually just pick the right one before? With one that he didn't drink? Is he gonna get like so drunk now? That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You down the beer in your pseudo macho pseudo style. Pseudo macho style. And slam the mug <laughs> back on the bar. <laughs> this is this like one so tastes amazing. even better than the last. Don't you think one more seems like a good idea? I do think so. Hello! What'll it be? So I have vodka. He didn't want. I took the took the... Uh, I want to try the wine. I'm gonna try light beer? You sure. You mean to say you're playing Leisure Suit Larry and all you want is light beer? Yeah. Hello? Okay, that's not the one. Let be. Uh, around? Are you sure? It'll cost you $90. Uh, 
Hello? What'll it be? And around, around is for everybody. So let's do whiskey. I'll have a glass of your fine well whiskey. I think vodka is the only thing you can keep, and the creepy guy doesn't want it. So we're kind of. That'll be five dollars, please. F you put five bucks e onto the counter. You don't drink the whiskey, oh. but instead decide to carry it with you wherever you go, precariously balanced in an open shot glass. Let's you see my inventory. Now I have whiskey and a, uh, a vodka. Uh, let's see. Let's try to talk to the creepy guy. You feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> You're unsure if you'll be able to walk straight. Do, you don't need to be walking. This, this is like... your head, you finally clear away the cobwebs and are once again able to walk in your standard studly style. Studly style, yeah, that's right. The funny thing you did, like one glass of wine and one beer. You shouldn't get drunk from that, but okay, dokie. Was this the vodka? Oh, this is probably the whiskey. It's darker. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, that hit the spot. You know, you must be my only friend in the whole world. So uh, I'm gonna give you my only possess, my only possess, all I got in the world. Oh, this is so nice. Is it batteries? Is it a condom? What Besides, was it? what's a guy like me need with a coaster? I mean, what am I? High society? Coaster, already. Wrinkled business card, lots of notes and credit cards which work, uh, won't work in this game, and 74 in cash. I have that guy. Let's just examine this. Do I have batteries in here, maybe? Uh, let's see. Touch brace left, Rose can send me. He has only one thing, which is that. Uh, let's try to give him more stuff. I don't know. Let's take this rose if I can. You prick your finger. Oh, he's so new. Poor little guy. Um. Okay, let's take a look at the coaster. Oh, like like a penny. An old table stands on its side in the back of the room. It's wedged in too tightly. Too tightly. Besides, you don't really need a table. Yeah, I do. I like a table. I have to carry it around like everywhere. The wallpaper is purple with velvet flocking. Where? Where? Let me see. We said <laughs> flocking. <laughs> oh, I think this is so funny. This... The op art design on the rug, oh, the rug appears okay. to make it move. Oh, wait a minute. That's the cockroaches. Ew. Let's see if we can travel. Okay, so we need batteries to get get away from this guy, and I guess we can't get it from you the slap machine. You slip a buck into the jukebox and search for a suitably sleazy selection. Ooh, air for a G string. Really, that's like a back song or something. Well, let's let's do the G string thing. Creepy. You pick up lefties, but realizing oh, that I was you have walk. no place that wasn't to put walking, it, was you it? gently set it back right where you got it. Okay, let's let's try to go outside and see what happens. Oh my god, this game is so much fun. I'd like to just listen to everything everybody says because it's just like so messed up. Let's call a cab. Apples, apples, apples for sale. Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. I think I should get my apple first. Hey, mister! I presume it's mister. I can't see under your barrel. <laughs> the name's Tim. Tim Tibbetts. And you are... Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? Thanks for nothing. Well, um, I see you're wearing a barrel, and I figure this can only mean one thing. <laughs> you're going to go over Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it means. Furthermore, since Lost Wages is near the West Coast, and Niagara Falls is near the East Coast, and you're already in the barrel, you must be super wealthy. They'll never let you on a commercial airliner dressed that way. Your mind works in strange and mysterious ways, Larry. That didn't Actually, make any sense. Actually, I'm broke. That's why I'm dressed this way. Wanna buy an apple? Let me think about it. It would be kind of cool to buy an apple from a really rich guy. 
buy an apple from the guy, you idiot, and have him steal your wallet or something. Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Oh, where does he Thank keep you, them? Sir. Here you go. Um, um. Those, um, I don't know. Should I say interesting? Taxi. Let's get another cut taxi. We're gonna get pissed at us because we kind of left him. Hey, Mac, where you headed? Um, lefties. I have so many options. Ooh. Comedy bladder. Okay. Let's just go to the first one on the right. Hey, that one. You got vodka? Let me have a sip of that. That's delicious. Hey, thanks for the drinky drink. Uh oh, Larry. Did I kill Larry? What happened? Let that be a lesson to you, Larry. The cabbies of this town are notorious drunks. Never enter a cab carrying anything that's obviously <laughs> alcohol. Did Larry die? Okay, so get rid of the vodka? Huh. Okay, we get a do-over. But what can we do with the vodka then? We can drink it. You slam down the shot of cheap booze. Then with a flourish, break the glass on the floor. Pretty because dramatic, I'm Jewish huh? or something. Okay. Taxi. And getting married. Uh, here we go. I should have broken another hey, wedding chapter. Where are we going? Chapter, chapter, chapel. Uh, I'm going here. Please don't kill me this time. Okay. This is such a weird road. Lucky twenty-one, pal. Fork it over. Yeah, give him the money. I'll probably end up with like no the money. only wants you to pay and exit. Didn't I pay? Thought I gave him money. Thanks, kid. Go. Talk to talk to man. This club looks like a really swinging place. How's about letting me in? Show me your pass. I'm not sure I have one. Nobody gets in without a pass. Those are the rules. Move along. Don't make me tell you again. Thank you for leaving. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I have like a lot of... I have less money now. It's not very good. Uh, let's try this as a pass. <coughs> oh, 724.46. So we have a super secret number. Okay. Taxi! Yeah. Stop trying to impress the cabbie with your accumulated cash <laughs> and merchandise. I'm trying to get into that thing. I think, I no! Really? Let's try it again. Taxi! Hand. Hand. There we go, Bobby. What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Yeah, hey, actually. Okay, guy, where'll it be? I actually was eating that. Uh, which way does the guy go? He goes like this way, right? Okay. So the shortest way is this guy. Always slow overhang of something. Oh no. It was the wedding chapter. Alright, 19 bucks. I can travel very far. This is gonna be so expensive. Thanks, kid. It would be rude to send that on in ahead of you. <laughs> I was gonna walk. <laughs> oh, I love this game. They have like answers for everything you do. Oh, that's lethal. Maybe I should actually like put my money somewhere and try to get some money so I actually don't lose. Uh, Caesar's plus button, please. There's increase or decrease your bet. Press deal with ready to play. Press stay to see the full. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be smart about this and I'm just gonna save before I continue here. I think it's here. Save. Just one. Okay. Um. What's the deal? Did I put money in or. Probably did. Where's the hand? Okay, and what do I have? This is what I have? I have 15. 
Uh, I believe if you're below 16, you're supposed to hit. Or 15. Uh, I think we'll hit. And we're gonna stay. Whoop de doo! That's not one of the buttons that makes this device operate. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I was used to touch screens, so I was trying to touch the, the <laughs> cards. <laughs> Seven, we're gonna deal. Fifteen again. Uh, what do you guys wanna do? Uh, it's like 40% odds that we're actually gonna get lower than six, which is gonna bust us. We have six out of 13, so... It's unlikely. I think we're gonna stay this time. Oh no. What, what does that mean? One of the buttons. So then I lose the 10 dollars. Okay, let's try again. Stay. You win! Yay! Deal. I deal. Now I'm supposed to stay. Stay. He had 17. Oh my god, 16. I'm supposed to stay again. No, we're losing money. Uh, I have 15. Deal. I have 15. Deal. 16. Really? Oh, I'm sucking at this game. Yay! Stay. 37. Deal. 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 Dang it. Deal. Stay. We're 37. We need to get to like almost 100 or something. Hit. Stay. Okay, stay, 57, okay, deal, stay, 82, just for the cap first, man, stay, no, decline insurance, what is insurance? I don't know what that means. In this game, should we stay? Stay. Yay! Ugh. Yeah. 72, 15, 16. We stay. Dang it. We stay. 72. We had 92 before. 16. We should stay, actually. Stay. Uh, one more time. I'm becoming like an addict. Okay, let's just leave with, with uh, 92. You get bad vibes from that machine. Listen to the sound of my voice, Larry. You, you want, want to, to play, play this machine. machine. Okay, one more time. Because man says so. And behind this busted. Why are we doing this? Twenty-one, stay. Thank you. I leave now. Uh, surrender. I surrender. Please don't hurt me. Okay. You get bad vibes Okay, from that I'm trying machine. to leave. I'm probably Listen supposed to, to the use the, voice, the walking stuff. You want to play this machine? Okay, we're gonna use the walker. Let's use it. Oh, it was the right guy. Yeah. Here we are. Thank you. You've been smoking a slim gym or something? Uh, maybe I should like have some breath spray since everybody's complaining about me smelling like ass. Ah, ah, look at this woman. Hey, baby, are you from the Caribbean? No, why? Cuz Jamaican me crazy. Oh my god. Oh, that's cute. How you made a pun using the name of a country. Let me see if I can do that. Your attempt to pick me up is real pathetic. <laughs> It makes me think you don't have a Bahrain in your head. That's uh pretty good. Now leave me alone, turkey. Oh, we're totally gonna talk to everybody here. So, uh, hiya, baby. I hope you own a black cat, because I'd like to get familiar with you. Wow, I've never heard that one before. That is really cool. Thank you. Then let's blow this pop stand and take this party downside. I can't. The Lost Wages basketball team is coming over later, and I promise I'd do them first. Maybe some other time. 
You're cute in a really poxy Weber kind of way. <laughs> oh, you mean Anson Williams? Who's that? The guy who plays Potsy Weber? What do you mean, plays? <laughs> you really can pick them, can't you, Larry? Talk to the weird guy. Hello, weird guy. Any luck on that machine? Yes. All bad. Aww. If I wasn't on the casino's board of directors, I probably wouldn't even bother playing. Poor guy. Hello, ma'am. How are the slots treating you today? Get bent, loser. Excuse me. Did I say something to offend you? Cram it! Am I disturbing your rhythm or something? Yes! <laughs> and your breath smells like a sea urchin died in your mouth, and you tried to cover up the rotten stink with lemon pledge. You're fun! <laughs> this game is like so look amazing. Like you much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? He looks job? like Larry. I sell in software. 50 years. I'm just in lost wages to try to find true love. Lost Tell wages? Me about it. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> lost wages is like the best. Thing ever. Oh my so, god. Like, are you some sort of counterculture type? Rebelling against injustice by symbolically giving the man the finger with your freakish hairstyle? Nah, I just like pissing off my mom. That's a reason too. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and save this game. Uh and and until next time, thank you for listening. Game Dimmer out!